Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for giving me a voice and screen. I'm, I'm, I'm Gavin Sorowski from Bingle University. I will today talk about recent advances in bio-waste management towards sustainable environment based on work of Professor Piechota from Torun University and photosynthesis capture as assessment of photosynthesis synthetic capture versus carbon footprint of an industrial microalgal process by Arthur Oliver Professor from, from Pomaco Paris Saint Clay University in France, which is a reply for this first management. The Professor Pirotto writes about how the byways can be conversed. Byways are very big trouble, legislative and, and voluble, setting much place and irritating our health and the environment. And on the other side, we have lack of conventional med fuels and and are being self destroyed by over pollution by carbon dioxide. Thus, we need to find solution for our waste. We pre pre recycle them and form as a tool that will make us independent from fossil fuels, independent from and environment for friendly and solving our troubles and keeping livestock of quite high quality. And as methods, he finds that first we need some few many types from lignotos to plastic and bio waste is match plastic is also by convention of synthetic fuels and mixing with bio waste to remove them the highest conversion is to pyrolysis and come uh, the compact uh, gasification. It could help us to make the tar and polymer by raw materials, but it, it increases some oxidizes nitro oxide, which are troubles, and it requires quite much energy in compared to biofuels. But this is try to solve by addition many catalysts and this is the trouble how to make them unpoisoned and the semi metals which are contained in plastic are also these heavy metals are also some some ways in in plants as a result of pesticides sometimes and it's need to be sacred. Therefore, Professor Pichota tries to develop method which be similar to biohydrogen by biofuels and pyrolysis mix compound with the shift to to be to anaerobic digestion and alcohol metals to close circular loop, loop and make it depend. This is because the biological way requires less energy, however, it requires much more space for one kilo. And the biological can, in the case of our gas, rec recover our carbon dioxide. As the challenges also requires foundation because 
that many people would like to recover but don't have money. Therefore, we need to make legislation and make a priority by states. And however, they shouldn't be afraid of losing the power enforcing their friendly methods. They need to put on education, the high quality education, because only education and and making the society enough knowledgeable that its only solution to survive by them can help and make us independent and make us our aims. Because now is the time when all mankind need to be joined in the aim of change of their way to change into independent. And one way method is uh, by assessment. This assessment show us that during the day, carbon dioxide by microalgas can even get 182 grams carbon dioxide per day on 15 days time average. The emission is that is Cucurella fulgaris and this give us the not only carbon dioxide reduction but also good good substrate feed for dark fermentation and other digestion. It could be also called diversion in pyrolysis to make higher plastic and waste conversion because biomass addition improves pyrolysis weight and gasification. Therefore, it's a very good a part of the future life because these algas, if not come to fresh water, if safety rules will be fulfilled, they can also reduce our carbon dioxide troubles. So therefore, besides uh, photovoltaics on the roof, maybe we should also compare, find, look for microalgas farms on the farm. In case of our station, it's important to make green our cities again. And microalga is one because they produce lipids for biofuels and lipids for pharmaceutical use. The lipid, if not used, it some plastic. This is the way which finds the looks Professor Oliver from Ten. It make research on acrolyl vulgaris as special. He make not carbon dioxide. The study was on special tank diameter of 40 60 liter tank, which was green on photobioactor, so glass and cortic glass. Microalgas were inoculated with up to two liters and elevation was 20 uh, Little per minute to big hives gave better. Microalgas were adapted. The, after 10, day, 10 days, the highest production. And heating value of microalgas was calculated as very as after use by the gas and use as as light efficiency 30% and carbon dioxide A 182 grams and this gives us results that growth was with carbon potassium addition bigger. So even for 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 grams of 
of uh, grow of per day and giving better carbon content. It cuts the carbon and even the was the average was after 12 days 48.18. The display shows how much electricity consumed if light was um, because the scientists if light was not by sun they put lead so also to make higher make some electric power consumption to show how much uh, electricity can come get and Total energy is is high is less. So because if in the case of bigger volume, it doesn't require much more energy to 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 cover to heating conditions and stagnation. And this shows scalability that is useful. But the trouble is that if we use this lead and add also calculate how much lead and carbon dioxide is catch, it not was was not enough. So our gas, if requires some additional light, this will not be, be useful. So we need to put this algas if we want to also light by day. We need to catch on some part, which is also there is also some wood, so it will be lighted by light from the streets. So when it's crowded on the roof on crowded street, there can be absolute useful. But is the one of option and useful could be. But we need to design proper method to uh, to catch how good carbon dioxide requirements, good liquid, good for fats and agas to produce hydrogen, and good to to, to not uh, the cultivation catch much energy. Thank you very much for voice.